Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Franklin Tucker, the editor and publisher of the Belmontonian, Belmont's online source for hyperlocal news. Franklin, we are in March and people are starting to talk about town meeting. One of the issues that uh, uh, is being discussed is what's coming out of the Community Preservation Committee. Can you tell us? Sure thing. There are uh, four articles that uh, were presented before the uh, select board on Monday. <clears throat> and uh, uh, each one was, uh, um, uh, <clears throat> each one passed uh, the uh, select board and the select board will be asking, uh, re will be requesting favorable action on all four of them at, at, at town meeting. Uh, <clears throat> briefly, what they are is $200,000 for the community path project, which is just another Another funding uh, for the uh, for the building of of this um, of the uh, path. It will uh, it really is going to be looking at uh, easements and payments to homeowners for any type of uh, uh, taking, whether it is uh, uh, simply uh, going onto somebody's land and uh, you know measuring things and uh, or even taking a very small strip of land. Um, uh, there were some comments about whether there was going to be eminent domain take, you know, taking large ports, of, uh, parts of land. But uh, Glenn Clancy, uh, the um, the director of the Office of Community Development, said this is going to be just like uh, the uh, Tropello uh, Belmont uh, construction uh, back a, a few years ago, in which you know the town had to go to 400 people to ask for small strips of land or if they could go onto their property to. Uh, to do uh, design work. And same thing here, uh, it's gonna be a little bit, I think a little bit more contentious, especially uh, looking at both ends of the uh, path that is going from Belmont Center to uh, um, Brighton um, and uh, uh, Blanchard. And, uh, you know, there's a um, uh, pr uh, commercial property at both ends that, you know, there might be a little bit of need of, a, of, a pro of property, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be, um, uh, eminent domain in any way. Uh, there's $35,000 for the renovation of Payson Park. That's going to be conceptual designs and a cost estimate. You know, so they're going to be coming back next year for the actual construction uh, amount. There, uh, there's Wait, a transfer. Yes. Oh, they don't know yet. They're, they're just going to find out. They're just going to get that, that estimation uh, this year. But that's um, doing a pace and park with the town has been doing to other parks. Uh, Grove that's Street right. It, it is. Too. It is uh, following. Uh, uh, the, and these are all uh, neighborhood or, or, you know, friends of, of um, uh, requests and uh, applications. Um, and this is another one of those. Um, uh, there's a $250,000 uh, transfer from the CPC to uh, the Belmont Housing Trust. Uh, to advance affordable housing. Um, and uh, there is the um, a construction of the uh, uh, tennis court at Winbrook. Uh, there, there was an original amount of $240,000, but that's being reduced. And we'll find out what the actual amount of money is going to be this week, uh, next week, I should say. And if we go back to the community path, just to make sure people understand, this is a tiny fraction of the actual construction costs, the, con that, the vast that's majority right. of the construction is being You're, paid by the state. That's right. This is the state and federal government, and the state and federal government wants to see that we're moving on this project. I mean, we're at 25% design. We're pretty close to having that released. Um, and uh, this will uh, show that we are, you know, uh, uh, dedicated to the path, and that will uh, show the state and federal government that uh, we're worthy of funding. So this is okay. so this is an important part of the of the uh, uh, just the path uh, being built. Okay, let's close the door on the Community Preservation Act uh, uh, projects. Let's talk about a project that has received CPA money in the past. The new police station, it opens in the next week. That's right. It opens on. Uh, it will be uh, uh, Monday. Uh, they will have a one day uh, uh, moving day. And uh, by the end of the day, they will be the uh, they will return to being the police headquarters, and that, and that's on uh, Pleasant and Concord. Uh, Concord. Um, uh, it is a great um, uh, uh, success for the uh, building committee uh, led by Anne Marie uh, uh, Mahoney. 
Um, it is, I, you, you, this is another one of those projects that, you know, you, you could, um, that people have um, taken issue with because it, at first it was just going to be a renovation of the uh, exterior. Then it became, um, you know, much more uh, of a uh, project. Um, it, is be, it is behind um, um, schedule. It should have been open in October uh, or November, but uh, because of um, uh, COVID, uh, it was, um, and especially one part of uh, the construction, which was the uh, terracotta um, laying of uh, the terracotta bricks uh, that are going to be on one side of the, um, uh, of the um, uh, building that um, uh, was stopped because they, they, these, these, these bricks or tiles were, were made in Italy and, and, and just the shop was shut down. So that's why it took much longer. It's also a, one of those uh, projects that, uh, you know, needed extra money here and there. Um, people were concerned about that, but uh, as Anne-Marie said, um, uh, this is coming in on budget, even if it does take a um, capital budget uh, inf infuse of, um, of funds, uh, but uh, they're gonna come in um, they're going to come in on, on the penny, basically. <laughs> and there is some private money being donated. A, a good deal of private money. And, and Anne-Marie Mahoney said, uh, uh, who's the chairman of the, of the building committee, that uh, it was that m amount of funds um, from private individuals and from groups um, uh, that really made this, uh, made uh, the uh, that, that allow the building to come in on budget, which is a, a, a great sense of um, community um, involvement with this project. Okay, let's talk about the uh, Structural Change Impact Group. It had its first of what's expected to be many forums last, uh, last night on uh, Thursday night. Uh, there were some interesting conversations and suggestions. That's right. The, uh, the uh, structural change impact group um, is just that. You know, they want to have. Uh, they are looking to uh, to make changes in uh, whether it's the budget or revenue sources or expenses um, to find a way to 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 lessen the structural deficit that Belmont just is is always um, has over its head, um, uh, and. Um, for the first, you know, and I think everybody said that, that there, there's no um, inappropriate or dumb, uh, you know, suggestion. Um, and uh, certainly all these, all the, all the people were not, you know, being, um, uh, were, were really, some of these uh, were, were looking outside the box, um, such as a uh, making the fire department an all volunteer uh, fire department. Uh, I don't think that's going to really make it so much in Belmont. And uh, there was an also a, a very, um, you know, uh, another one of those, um, maybe looking at it as a business rather than a government, um, um, as an old, uh, the, suggesting that um, um, the investment uh, portfolio that we have, uh, which gives a small amount of money every year to the town, that we should look at that more aggressively as and find alternative financial products. And uh, also, uh, higher financial advisors who can quickly adapt to the uh, market conditions. Now, um, you know, that might uh, seem like a good thing, but the state really kind of, <laughs> they don't like to see uh, towns get a little too wild. You know, no one wants to see Belmont invest in Bitcoins or in uh, GameStop. Uh, so <laughs> that, that might not go forward. Um, there are also uh, 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 suggestions that are, um, that were, um, interesting like selling the school administration building um uh and um uh, a lot of outsourcing uh suggestions such as outsourcing the cafeteria for the schools looking at public safety fire and police and and, and basically uh, uh reducing the number of full-time workers and, and replacing them with uh, uh, uh 1099 contractors so you can if, the, if there's a downturn, you can easily fire them and, and, and also easily hire them whenever you need them. Uh, all in all, but, but all in all, there were some very interesting you know, suggestions such as um, uh, serious looks at um, uh, retirement and pension. There should be, uh, you know, whether the town should uh, continue uh, to uh, uh, manage its uh, retirement and pensions or uh, go to the state program, which is, which is, having a good year this year. Um, 
and uh, basically it's um you know uh, i think a lot of these these can be looked further into not not the volunteer fire department but <laughs> but most of these are are interesting and should and should be looked at one one of my impressions of the suggestions last night is that they really aren't sexy ideas uh, they deal with uh, issues such as pensions and retirement benefits that, and, that's and, where the money is yeah and that's the best kind that's that's the best kind to look at uh, you know, a great example is uh, Jim Williams uh, who was a uh, uh, a selectman just a few years ago, and his passion, and the reason he actually was elected to the uh, select board, was um, uh, his his uh, his way of thinking about OPEC, um, you know, which is uh, you know uh, a, a retirement like um, uh, expense, and you know he made very interesting uh, um, uh, um, suggestions about that, and uh, we actually changed how we uh, looked at OPEC and actually saved a lot of money. Um, well, future money uh, by his actions. So that's something that, you know, we can look back and say, yeah, it's not sexy. What I mean, OPEB, no one knew who, what OPEB was, which is, as you can probably, you know, which probably say what, what it is. It's um, other it's re retirement health benefits. Is, that's is right. What it is. That's what it is. So, and um, that's something that, you know, maybe there's another one of those uh, OPEB moments for the uh, town of Belmont uh, that uh, will, save significant money, or maybe over time, not maybe immediately, but over time, that would be uh, something that uh, would, would, would increase um, uh, the uh, ability to um, um, uh, save money. That's great. Thanks for bringing us up to date. We've been speaking with Franklin Tucker, the editor and publisher of the Belmontonian, Belmont's online source for hyperlocal news. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.